Hello, I am Emre from Huawei Developers and welcome to Huawei Unity Plugin Tutorial Series. In this video, I'm going to show you the capabilities of the HMS Unity Plugin and how to use it. HMS Unity Plugin helps you integrate all the power of Huawei mobile services in your Unity game. The plugin will give you the access of Huawei mobile services that a game app must have and the plugin upgrading every day with new feature open source. You can contribute it to if you want. These are the kits that you can use from Huawei mobile services after integrating the plugin. Account kit, in-app purchase, ads kit, push kit, game services, analysis kit, crash service, remote config, out service, drive kit, nearby service and app messaging. Requirements for the plugin are simple. You need to use Android SDK 21 or higher and at least .NET 4 or higher. What we need to do or integrate the plugin is first, register your app at Huawei Developer Console, then import the plugin to your Unity project. We will download the plugin from its GitHub website and lastly, connect the Huawei kit into your game. Go to the Huawei Developer Console and login. After logging, go to the My Apps and click New App button. Then give app name and create the app. Go to My Projects and deliver our package name. Then open Unity for getting key store. After getting the key store, get SHA256 from its using terminal code. We need to wait downloading AG Connect JSON file till we import the plugin into our project. Go to the GitHub page of the Unity plugin and go to the releases page. Download the latest version for your Unity version. Then import the Unity package into your game and click import button while all checkboxes are enabled. Open the kit settings from Huawei top bar and enable account, ads, IAP and game services kits and open their tabs. Inform the tabs. Don't forget that this asterisk sign means if you hover your mouse on it, it will show you the detailed information about their cases. Let's say you are using the ads kit. You need to do these steps after importing the plugin. Enable ads kit in the kits tab. Then open ads tab and click enable banner ads. Click show banner on load and click enable use test ads. Mention that we are using test ads. That's why we don't give any ads IDs. Then we will create a button for hide banner ads functionality, a script to show and hide banner ads, and lastly, an object in the hierarchy to place the script in. After the implementation, you can use ads kit in our project. You need to uncheck use test ads checkbox and give your ads ID if you want to use real ads. Thank you for watching. For more detailed information, you can visit developer.oa.com.